All right, so this is going to be a short video kind of outlining the organization and structure of the uh, MDT 101 Introduction to Drafting Independent Study class for uh, the spring of 2023 semester. All right, so let's get started. What you're looking at is Canvas, the, the student view of Canvas for the class. Um, everything is organized through Canvas, so you're going to have to go into Canvas to, to find out all the information and uh, submit the assignments and and um, and all that good stuff. So so let's get started with the first module. This is the welcome module. So in this, you're going to find the syllabus. All right. Um, so here, uh, I, my office hours are Tuesday and Thursday, twelve to one, and Monday and Wednesday I'll be online. So just email me if you want to make an appointment for that. Um, email me if you have any other questions too. We don't need to talk during office hours. You can always just email me or find me in the T building. I'll be there uh, most days of the week until about uh, 3.30 or 4 p.m. Uh, this course is an independent study course. I want to note though that there are five contact hours. So um, that's not really something that I can uh, adjust very much. I have a little bit, but there's still a requirement that you have to do certain drawings for this class in order to in order to be successful. So, uh, but we'll talk about that. The textbook for this class is the Engineering Drawing and Design. You might already have a copy of this from other classes. Uh, if not, it's available in the bookstore. Uh, if you have any trouble getting this textbook, please contact me or please see me. Okay. Uh, I won't go through all the course topics and course end competencies. Okay. Uh, I wanted to keep this video kind of short. Um, the classroom policies and procedures, of course, these are adjusted because it's an independent study class. All right. So let's look at the grading policies and procedures. So in this course, there are nine modules, right? Um, the total points for the nine modules are 1,300 points. There is a final project, a final drawing, right? That is worth 325 points. So this gives us a total of 1,625 points in the class. Now the breakdown for each module, these modules, one, two, three, eight, and nine are worth 100 points. Modules four, five, six, and seven are worth 200 points each. These modules, four, five, six, and seven, are also two weeks in length, okay? Um, and then the grading scale here. Um, and then uh, I have a course schedule. Now in this course schedule, you'll see uh, how the modules break down by week and by topic. And then over here, I have the module link in Canvas, right? And then the reading in the textbook, all right? Um, each one of these links to the module. You'll note in the first two weeks, there are there are sketching assignments. TS1 and TS2 are sketching assignments, okay? This is just to help you um, understand some of the concepts that we're gonna be going through in this class, but uh, to remove the impediment of uh, AutoCAD or having to learn AutoCAD or having to use AutoCAD. So with the sketching exercises, it's just a better way to focus on some of the some of the uh, fundamentals uh, that you need to know uh, regarding engineering drawing. OK. All right. And then the final project. OK. All right. So let's go back to home. Now, um, the course schedule. This is just a little blurb about how what the expectation is is for this class. This is normally a five hour per week class in in a normal class. OK, uh, as an independent study class, uh, I can't really change too much of that. OK, there are still assignments that you have to do now. Uh, of course, you we're not meeting on campus and you're going to be doing the assignments yourself. So if the assignments takes less than five hours, then that's fine, okay? I have scoped down a little bit of the drawing assignment, so you're not doing all of the drawing assignments that are usually um, assigned in, in this class. But still, uh, just a heads up, there's still drawings that you need to complete uh, each week. So let's go back home. And then uh, the assignment calendar. So to give you a better um, kind of 
uh, bird's eye view of the assignments and due dates and everything. I have this assignment calendar, right? So this is a calendar um, for the week, Sunday through Saturday. And then you'll see on here, right, we start class on Tuesday. Um, and that's the earliest that you can start CAD module one. Um, there, this has the sketching module, that's the drafting module one also. So both of those can be started on then. And they're due in a week. So they are, all assignments are due Sunday evening. Okay, all assignments are due Sunday evening. You can see module seven due, module six due. Um, so therefore you could start the assignments. Of course, you can start the assignments earlier, but this is, if you turn it in on Sunday, then you can start the next module on Monday, okay? Now you'll notice module two, module three, and then starting with module four, this is a two week module, right? So we, you can theoretically start it on the 13th and then it's due on the 26th, all right? So that's two weeks, two weeks to finish the work and then you start module five. All right, so this is just to help you kind of get your bearings, give you an overview of the assignment. Sometimes this is hard to see when you're looking at uh, just the assignment due dates in Canvas and, and stuff. So I, I thought this would be a little bit more helpful for you. Let's go back home. Okay, um, online course information, right? So this is important because uh, presumably, presumably you might want to do the CAD work at home, okay? So in this class, uh, we're gonna be using AutoCAD. AutoCAD for students can be downloaded for free. The link is right here. So you can download this and install this on your laptop or PC at home to do all of the work. You do not have to come into campus to do any of the work or to submit or print any of the assignments, all right? All of this can be done like an online class from home, all right? However, if you do want to come on campus to do the drawings, that's fine, right? All you need to do is find a computer, find a room in the, in the CAD department. Uh, I can help you do that. If you email me or find me, then I can open up a room for you. If a room is open with a class already in it, just ask the instructor uh, if you can sit in the back to do the work. I'm sure that's going to be fine unless there's a test or something uh, going on with a class. Um, so please read all of this information, all right? Um, if you wanna find out if your computer can handle AutoCAD, then here's the minimum requirements. There's a link to it right there. Um, and, and that's about it, okay? Let's go back home. There is a YouTube channel for this. So to support this class, uh, I've created a YouTube channel, MVCC AET Automation Engineering Technology. Some of you already know about this. Um, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. I don't have the subscription here, but please subscribe to this YouTube channel so you won't miss any updates. It's not monetized. I'm not getting any money for this. There's no uh, ads that I have uh, that are gonna be placed on here. Um, but when you go to this website, and again, the link for that is right here, uh, you should be able to go to playlists, and then you should be able to find the MDT 101 Intro to Drafting playlist. And you can see on here, there are 54 videos. These videos include lecture videos, they include demo videos, they include tips and tricks, uh, so everything that you need to help you do the drawings that normally you would get in class with me doing demos and with me doing lectures can be found on this YouTube channel, okay? Now I have links for all of these in the assignment modules. Uh, so, you know, I, I, you're, it's not just up to you to go and find which ones are relevant. I have links to uh, to help you find the ones that you need to be watching for the various assignments, okay? So this is the YouTube channel for this class, MDT 101 Intro to Drafting. All right, so that's the first module. Let's look at the second module, getting started with AutoCAD. So here, there are some tips and techniques for successfully learning AutoCAD online. There's some setup videos, there's CAD learning videos. CAD learning is a website, I'll, I'll show you that right now, um, with 
hundreds, literally hundreds of other videos for AutoCAD, okay? We pay, the college pays a subscription service for this. It is a fantastic resource. And I make uh, references and links in the assignments for this too, okay? Um, so uh, let me show you that. We'll link on here. Um, here is the email and password for this CAD Learning website. It is not your email address nor your password. You, everyone has to use the same email address and password. All right. So let me just let me just show you an example here to get started. So I'll click on one of these links here, and it brings it up here. Now I think it should log me in automatically. Yes. Okay. Now this it takes me to the MDT 145 Summer 2020. Don't worry about that. That's that's just my saving here. So I'm going to go to the library and. Um, if you don't see AutoCAD up here, then go to More, and then you can find AutoCAD. And here are all the videos. So all of these are, um, are chapters for videos. So under Getting Started, look at all this. These are all the videos for this, just this one topic. These videos are short, like three to five minutes. So they're just, you know, little snippets to, to get you oriented towards typing commands or saving drawings using save, anything like this, okay? So uh, so these are great. They can be accessed anywhere from home, uh, from the uh, CAD lab, anywhere you need to watch these videos, okay? Um, let's go back to the modules. All right, so those are the CAD learning videos. If you download AutoCAD, and, need, and you will need to get it set up on your computer at home so that it's creating drawings properly. So here are the AutoCAD setup videos, right? So how to start AutoCAD, user interface, drawing setup, all this good stuff. Um, under tips and tricks, tips and techniques, these are some tips, all right? printing to a PDF file. All of the drawings that you're gonna be turning in in class are gonna be printed as a PDF file and then submitted on Canvas. So this is instructions for how to submit, how to print to a PDF file, okay? And then uh, an AutoCAD quick reference card for, for, for helping you, okay? AutoCAD setup videos, again, like I said, to set up AutoCAD properly at home. You don't have to do these videos if you're using AutoCAD in the CAD labs. Our AutoCAD is set up properly. But to set it up at home, these are five videos to help you uh, do that properly. Okay. And then we get into the basic drawing and editing. Okay. So let me just pause right here and, and say that it is absolutely vital for you to be successful in the class you use all of the resources that I am making available to you on Canvas, okay? This is really not a class that you're just gonna be able to come in and find the assignments and then just do them without any kind of support or without knowing what's going on. Um, it really is vital, critical, that you go through each one of these modules in order and look, read, watch the videos, Okay. There's really no other way around it. I wish there was a shortcut. There's not a shortcut. Okay. So let's look at CAD module one, basic drawing and editing. So in this module, right, we're going to be doing the basic drawing and edit editing, an introduction, you know, kind of an introduction to AutoCAD, an introduction to drawing in AutoCAD. Now in some assignments, okay, you will see that there are zero point assignments like this first one, Drawing 1.1 square cow is a zero point assignment. Obviously, that's just for your benefit. Um, you're not getting a grade for that, so you don't have to do that. You don't have to turn that in. That's just for you to practice, all right? It depends a lot on your previous skill level with AutoCAD. Some of you are coming into this class and you have good AutoCAD experience. Some of you are coming in and you've never worked with AutoCAD before, okay? With each one of these assignments, you'll notice that there are videos, demos to help you, right? Here's a CAD learning video. Here's another CAD learning video, right? Remember the CAD learning website, right? Um, and then I have some of my demo videos, demo videos, offset, trim, and extend, 
demo videos selecting objects. So where you see CAD learning videos, that is for the CAD learning website. Where you see demo videos, those are my videos. All right. Um, all of these are to support uh, the assignment. So drawing 1.1, drawing 1.2, that is also a zero point assignment. Drawing 1.3 is a 10 point assignment. So this is assigned. So basically there are two drawings in CAD module one, there are two drawings that are assigned that are going to be graded and then the rest of them are either zero point or extra credit. So the two drawings that are assigned are uh, drawing 1.3 and then drawing 1.6, the anchor plate. All right, that's 10 points. Everything else is zero points. And you'll notice there's CAD learning videos or demo videos to support each one. And then there is extra practice. The extra practice assignments are worth five points. So these are kind of like extra credit. Again, you don't have to do these, but these are extra credit, all right? So there's two assignments in this first one. And then we get into drafting module one. This is the technical sketching. So where you see CAD, those are gonna be the CAD assignments. Where you see drafting, these are going to be your sketching assignments. And there are there's uh, a little introduction about technical sketching. Let's go back here. Um, sorry. There's some technical sketching videos, right? Because technical sketching is a skill. So I'm trying to show you how to do this properly for maximum grades. Um, some other reading and then the assignments okay and here sketching one exercise two three and four now let me talk about turning in these assignments okay so let's first go to the CAD assignment so how are you going to submit these well let's go to the anchor plate here we click on this we go to the anchor plate so the following video is a demo of creating the anchor plate so here's a demo for doing the assignment these are the commands that we're going to be going through this is the actual drawing, right? So if I click on that, it's gonna open up the drawing, right? This is not out of your textbook. And then um, these are some notes. And then it says, when completed, print the model space drawing to a PDF file and submit to Canvas, all right? So this is what you're gonna be submitting to Canvas. So right up here, when you start the assignment, then you're gonna be submitting it a file in PDF format, and that's what you're turning in, and that's what I'm gonna be grading, okay? So those are the CAD assignments. Now let's do one of the sketching assignments. So we go to technical sketching exercise one. Um, so with this one, what you're gonna be turning in is either a PDF or a JPEG, an image file, okay? So sketch the top, front, and right side views of the object shown in the isometric view. And so here's the worksheet. We click on this, and it's gonna open up the worksheet. Eventually. There we go. All right, so there's the assignment, right? Of course, you're, you're gonna need to print this out, okay? Um, so there's no really other way to do this. Uh, if you uh, if you don't have a printer at home, then of course just come into campus and print these out. That's that's not a problem. Um, I can help you do that if you want to. Um, but you'll have to print this out, all right? And then there's instructions for what to do in the assignment, right? There's instructions right here. And then you're going to submit a scan of the completed sketch worksheet as a PDF or JPEG. Um, using a document scanner, if you have one at home, or the easiest thing to do is just a smartphone app, okay? And then this is a rubric for me grading it. Now, uh, I believe that there is a um, uh, information on how to do that, right? Uh, let's go right here. Okay, so... Complete the following technical sketching exercises, one, two, three, and four. Each sketching worksheet is to be completed and submitted online in a PDF or JPEG, right? It says PDF here, but it's also JPEG or PDF. 
Um, the best free smartphone document scanning apps are, it's falling down here. If you have other ones that you use, that's fine. All you're going to be doing is taking a snapshot, a clean, clear snapshot of your, of your sketched page and then submitting it. That's all. Okay. All right. So let's minimize this. Um, so those are the sketching assignments. Each one is worth 10 points each. And then here's CAD module two. Again, uh, here's the zero point assignment. These two are graded. So there's two drawings that you're doing for this, for this module. And then here's the extra credit. And then here's the technical sketching. There's four drawings here that are, are due. Um, Again, I, I can't reiterate this enough. Please follow the canvas layout for this. Okay. When you start a module, start at the top of the module and go through each one of these. I put these in on purpose and in order. Everything is organized. I didn't just dump everything in. So everything is organized. So you should be able to step through this to do the assignments. Okay. Um, I was very purposeful in how I organized this because I want you to be successful on your own to be able to go through this class without having to email me or, you know, without interrupting your flow, so to speak, for getting everything done. Okay. So these are all the modules. Remember, as we get, as we start module four, these are going to be two week assignments and then the final project. Now, finally, there are some additional class resources here. And then there are some AutoCAD resources here. Okay. All right. So that's it. Uh, if you have any questions at all, please find me in the T building or email me. I can make a WebEx so that we can talk live. If you can't come to campus, but you still want to discuss something, that's not a problem. Just email me and we'll do this. Uh, please let me know how everything is going. If you have any questions while you're doing assignments or whatever, uh, just email me and I'll, you know, help you out as soon as I can. Um, my office hours are, um, let's see, Monday and Wednesday, it's online. Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays, 12 to 1. But I am teaching four days a week. Uh, so I will be on campus during those four days. All right. Thank you. I uh, hope that you are very successful this class. And please let me know how things are going. Bye-bye.